Hello everyone, in the previous video I shared with you how to install two Twitter apps on one single iPhone so that you can log into two Twitter accounts at the same time on one iPhone. I received feedback from some friends that they also want to install two WhatsApp apps on one single iPhone so that they can log in to two WhatsApp accounts at the same time to chat with friends. Today, I will share with you how to use Sideloadly to install two WhatsApp on one iPhone. Okay, let's move to my iPhone to have a look. Let's go. Okay, now welcome to my iPhone. So you can see I'm already installed two WhatsApp. This is the this WhatsApp. I am using the App Store to install the this WhatsApp from the App Store. And the second WhatsApp, which means WhatsApp 2. Yeah, the WhatsApp 2 I already installed with the side loadly. So I can open two WhatsApps at the same time. You can see two WhatsApps at the same time and you can log in to WhatsApp's accounts and you can chat with your friends. For example, if you the number one, this WhatsApp you can chat with your uh, family, your friends, and this WhatsApp number two, you can chat with your colleagues or your boss or your uh, something special, some special friends. Yeah. So two WhatsApps installed at the same time. It's very useful functions. So these WhatsApps use the uh, App Store installed WhatsApp too, and uh, I installed it with the uh, side loadly. Okay, let's move to my uh, Windows. Uh, we will use uh, Windows uh, with my PC to install the uh, side loadly and use the side loadly to install the WhatsApp too. Okay, I will put my mobile phone aside, and we go to the website of the side loadly let's have a look open the chrome browser yeah firstly we go to the side loadly the official website also, also i will put this uh, side loadly official website address down below this video description and you can click the link to visit the official website of the side loadly to download the uh the uh installation file Okay, so you can see this uh, side loadly, there's no need to jailbreak broken iOS device. So it can be suitable for all kinds of devices, no matter it is uh, jailbreak or not, not jailbreak. So it can be suitable for the non-jailbreak -jail uh, iOS device. Some instructions uh, here. And uh, go to here, important Windows task. So you can pay attention here. Uh, for Windows, please make sure you have the web version of iTunes installed. If you do not install the non-Microsoft Store version from here, this link. If your Windows uh, is 64-bit, you can download this one. Click this one to download the iTunes. 32-bit, click this one to download the 32-bit iTunes. This should be downloaded because I already downloaded, so I will no, not download again. And here, additionally, uh, the iCloud should also, I recommend you need to install the iCloud to avoid any uh, error or any mistake from this uh, uh, iTunes, okay? So click this one official Apple download link for the iCloud. Click it to download it because I already downloaded, so I will no, not download it again. So this one and this one need to download it. And the Windows uh, here, this is, this is a side loadly. You can download the 64-bit or 32-bit. It depends on your PC. So, and Mac OS download for the side loadly. For me, I'm using the Windows 10. So I will download this one, uh, Windows 64-bit download. Click this one to download. Okay, I'm already downloaded, so I will not download again. Okay, so this uh, file and another file. Let's go to here. Yeah, this this web address I also put with put this web address down below this video description for you to download this uh, WhatsApp to IPA file. Yeah, this WhatsApp to IPA file to download it. The size is around uh, sixty nine megabyte. Click this button, download here to download this uh, WhatsApp number two to WhatsApp. Yeah, click the blue button to download because I already downloaded so I will not download it again. Okay, let's move to my folder. Have a look. And yeah, this uh, iTunes, iCloud, side loadly and the WhatsApp all downloaded here in this uh, uh, folder. Okay, so I will install firstly, I will install the iTunes. Yeah, we double click 
to install the iTunes first. Okay, just to, yeah, click to install, and it's very easy and straightforward. Click next, and uh, use iTunes as a default player for audio file. Yes, we could just click install. Just be patient after the finish the of the installation. There may be some pop-up window. You just click yes. Yeah, we have finished the installation. I click finish. And uh, for you, there may be a pop-up window said you need to reboot your system because I'm already uh, I'm installed previously. So there's no uh, pop-up window for me said I need to reboot. But for you, I think you need to reboot your system. Okay, after finish finished the installation, the iTunes is opened. You just minimize, yeah, minimize the iTunes and double-click the iCloud to install the iCloud. Yeah. Okay, it's very easy. I accept the terms in the license. Click install to install the iCloud. Just to be patient. And if there's any pop-up window, you just click yes to confirm the yes and to install the iCloud. Okay, so we finish the installation and click finish. And it said that you needed to reboot uh, your system. So you needed to click yes to reboot uh, the system. Okay, so you needed to click yes to reboot your system. For me, I just click no. Okay, so we needed to install the side loadly. Yeah, double click the side loadly to install the side loadly. Yeah, it's very easy. Click next, next, install to install the side loadly successfully. Yeah, perfect. And the run side load, we just take out, create desktop shortcut, click finish. Okay, let's go back to the desktop. Have a look. Yeah, you can see the side load is on our desktop. So we just double click the side load to have a look. Yeah, perfect. You can see the side loadly was loaded successfully. But if you see some pop-up windows said that you needed to uh, download and install the Anisit, uh, a plugin. The plugin is around 100 to 200 megabytes. Then you needed to click the win, click the yes button to download the plugin of the Anisit, the plugin. But for me, I'm there's no pop-up for me. Just so, which means everything is perfect. So. Uh, yeah, next step, we needed to just uh, plug the our con connect our PC with the, our mobile phone. Just click the PC with our mobile phone and click it, connect it. Because this is not the, my first time to connect uh, with our my PC. There's no proper window for me. For you, if you first time um, connected with your PC, there must be a proper window so that you needed to trust this PC or not. You need to click yes to trust this PC. Then you can uh, make your uh, iPhone uh, connected with your side loader with your PC. Okay, so please unlock your screen. Just uh, unlock your screen. Yeah, and I will delete it. So this is uh, WhatsApp too. I will delete it and reinstall it to show you how to reinstall the WhatsApp. Delete it. Okay, perfect. Then. You can have a look, see that my, this is my iPhone ID that uh, is my iPhone is uh, connected with the side loadly. You can see my iPhone. This is a, a firmware, I mean firmware version 15.3 and uh, connected with the uh, USB. Okay, so we just uh, unlock the, your screen and put your iPhone aside. And next, we need to uh, key, uh, just to drag the downloaded I mean the WhatsApp here, the WhatsApp is here. We needed to drag the WhatsApp to the side loadly here. Yeah, you can see this WhatsApp 2 IPA is already here. Then we key in our Apple ID to using the side loadly, key in your Apple ID to log in. Yeah, okay, key in your Apple ID and click start to install the WhatsApp 2 into your, onto my mobile phone and key in your password. Okay, then click OK. So if your, mobile, if your uh, Apple ID is activated with a two-step verification, so maybe your, uh, there will be a, a two-step verification code pop up on your iPhone. And you, okay, you can see the progress bar here. You can see it's uh, signing with your um, Apple ID to sign with your P Apple ID and uploading the progress and uh, installing. You can see this is the installing progress. 
15, 15%, 40%. And at last, 100% uh, you will see the side load, uh, the WhatsApp too is on your mobile phone. It's very easy. Done. You can see, done. Here, it's done. And it, here, the WhatsApp is already on your phone. Let's have a look. Okay. Click it. Yeah. It's perfect, but for me, I can open it directly because I already already trusted uh, my Apple ID. If you cannot open the uh, WhatsApp, you cannot open the WhatsApp too. Then you need to go to the settings, and go to the general, and go down. You need to go to the VPN and device management here, and you can see your Apple ID is here. Click it, and you need to click trust. Trust this uh, Apple ID. Trust. So for me, I already trusted this uh, my uh, Apple ID. So click this one. So the the button is changed from the uh, change to the delete apps. For you, you need to click trust your per, your your Apple ID. Then you after that, then you can open WhatsApp. Okay. If you are the iOS, I mean the iOS 16, you need to also you um you need to. Otherwise, you cannot open the Apple uh, WhatsApp. You need to switch on the developer mode here. You go to the settings and go to the privacy. Yeah, go to the privacy. I mean, for from the I iOS 16 privacy uh, settings here. This one and go down and here you will see uh, something like uh, developer mode. Developer mode. Yeah. Uh, then you, you need to click on the developer mode, switch on the developer mode, then uh, it will say if your uh, mobile phone will be rebooted, then after rebooted, um, you will open, there will uh, be another pop-up window for you to confirm that you need to open this uh, developer mode. Just click confirm. After that, then you can open WhatsApp perfectly whatsapp perfectly so app open to whatsapp perfectly so this is a very easy way to do that but with their personal i mean the apple id uh, when seven days the apple id i mean the i mean this app cannot be open open again then you just repeat the, the whole process again it's very easy just to connect it with your um, pc uh, with your iphone and uh, drag this uh, whatsapp again to here and click start to reinstall the WhatsApp 2 again. Then you can use this WhatsApp 2 for another seven days. It's very easy to so just repeat this process. Very simple and straightforward. Then you can use two WhatsApp on your mobile phone directly. It's a very easy and simple, simple way to do that. Okay, so if you like my sharing, don't forget to sum up and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.